Whenever it comes to Superman's place in video games, people are always saying stuff like, It's impossible to make a good Superman game. Okay, why? Uh, because playing an entire game in god mode isn't fun? That's bullshit. Get in the boat, boy. Games starring the Man of Steel range from infamously bad to decent, while games where he's an additional character are pretty great. So basically, the track record is all over the place. But I think I've cracked the code. See, games are an iterative medium, always learning and adapting from what came before. And a little over a year ago, a big game dropped that provided the perfect template from which Kal-El can soar from. That's right, I've done the impossible. I found the secret formula to making a great Superman game. And here it is. Kakarot is the most faithful retelling of the DBZ saga outside of the anime. More pressingly, it presents Goku, a character with an insanely similar origin to Kal-El, in a bombastic and fun gameplay experience. Massive hub worlds, big throwdown fights, and a full array of powers. Let's get into it. I won't be discussing what story I'd want for the game, or anything like that. Everyone's got their own favorite Superman story, so just use your imagination. I'm purely speaking from a gameplay point of view since that's what seems to be so hard to figure out. Gameplay will be broken down into two key areas, reversal and combat. What's one of the most important, iconic powers Superman has? It's flight. In Kakarot, you fly around a wide variety of large hub areas. You can fly slow or at supersonic speeds, run incredibly fast, and leap insanely far. All of these qualities transfer pretty one-to-one -to, -one to Superman. Goku can sense the key of strong enemies in the area. This can be swapped out for super hearing. Hub areas could work, but ideally a big open world metropolis to explore would be in play. Like the one they have in LEGO DC Super Villains. It should be noted that the upcoming DC game, Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, takes place in an open world metropolis, so it might be weird to have two versions of that in the game sphere, but I digress. The most important part of a Spider-Man game is having great web swinging. So in a standalone Superman game, nailing the kinetic sense of flight and speed is key. You want the player to feel powerful and in control while also making the controls themselves feel natural. For the record, traversing on Kakarot is damn fun, but at first glance the controls are a little wonky. Once you get used to it though, you're flying around in style, and it would even make Vegeta proud. So as Goku flies around in between the story and side missions, he can encounter basic level scaling bad guys in the open world. Here's how it could work in a Superman game. In a battle like this that you see on screen now, just swap out those enemies with some parademons, brainiac minions, or even some sort of LexCorp robots. That way there's a narrative reason for why there can be so many of them scattered throughout the game. When it comes to strong bosses, Superman has a plethora of big bads available to offer a physical challenge. Metallo, Parasite, Mongol, you could even throw in the main man Lobo for a showdown. That's how you want to play it? Fine. Contract calls for the main man to put on a show for the locals. So one more time, surrender or die. Now for the main antagonist, the obvious choices are Lex Luthor, Darkseid, and General Zod. Literally any of those work. All of these adversaries could provide key gameplay challenges for the player. When it comes to powers, there's a handful that have to make an appearance like Heat Vision, Super Strength, and possibly even Super Breath. In Kakarot, Goku's many super attacks are mapped to a trigger-face-button combination, which would work here as well. I don't know how you make x-ray vision work, probably for some collectibles when flying around and to identify weak points on a certain enemy. Also, it would be cool if we got to see Superman's somewhat recently added but rarely ever used solar flare technique, which sees Clark emit a powerful blast of energy. Sort of like how Miles' ultimate works in his game, but on a much larger scale. So you take these Superman gameplay concepts, Kakarot's template that has been designed for them, you wrap it all up in an engaging story and narrative, and bam, you have yourself a fun Superman game. Anyways, that's all I got for how to make a game about the big blue boy scout. I just got tired of people saying that it's hard or impossible, like, you know, the evidence is right here. A great Superman game literally came out last year. It's called DBZ Kakarot. 
Just please, for the love of Jarrell, can we get a Superman game at some point? Anyway, if you liked this video, be sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe. If you want to see me play games live, come over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Ledato, so you can tell me how good or bad I am at whatever game I'm playing. And uh, hope y'all have a wonderful time and be excellent to each other.